Nita, this is a really good question. I think of MRI as being like a photograph looking back in time. It'll show you the changes in your brain and spinal cord that have happened due to MS. It will show you the changes that have occurred since your last scan and it will also show you any active new lesions within the brain or the spinal cord which together make up the central nervous system. In terms of accuracy, MRI is really good at telling us areas of the brain that have been affected by MS, but it's not so good at telling us the effect that that will have on an individual patient. There's a tip of the iceberg phenomenon with MS, and that means that on average it takes 10 lesions for every one clinical relapse. And the effect of an individual lesion is dependent on many different factors. For example, how long have you had MS and what damage has it done already? Where is the new lesion? What size is it? So two patients with exactly the same scan findings could have absolutely different clinical pictures as a result of the disease. So in summary, MRI is very good at diagnosing MS and telling us about ongoing activity. And that allows doctors to make a treatment plan for the illness. However, it's less good at telling us how MS is going to progress in the future.